Hey, let's talk a little bit about the gear I bring when I'm fishing on the salt flats inshore. Hey, welcome back to Tips with Ty. I've got a lot of questions people ask me what I carry in my boat when I'm inshore. I've done a lot of what I carry in my boat BTB, but I thought I've got a real authentic situation here. I got th stuff everywhere. So I thought why not show y'all what I carry in the sound or uh, this is this is they call this a sound here in Florida it's a long skinny bay is what it is this is what I what I'm carrying this morning it's a fall morning I'm still carrying all the same stuff I carry all summer I'm in a 2012 Outback first off I bring my beach wheels to this location because I have to walk down a sand trail I would bring them offshore too and I just go ahead and take them with me so there you go if I'm launching at a boat launch I don't bring them but when I'm launching on any sand or walking a trail I bring those another thing I bring in shore is uh, two rods two rods only look at the mullet I bring a bay caster which I dedicate a lot to top water this is a McCain uh, in, uh, kayak series rod but if you can look that rod is is pretty stiff when I'm only bringing two rods doing inshore fishing I like to have one of them be stiff in case I see monster jacks like I did that one day or in case I see tarpon rolling or something I want to have one of them be kind of stiff but not too stiff to where I can't work a top small topwater plug I put a 30 pound test on this guy that way I've got a rod that I can throw topwater and gulf and suspension baits with but if I see something big blowing up, I've got some backbone here to throw at them. This is my light duty guy. You can see I've got a gulp on there right now. In Texas, I used to put 15, but now I'd go 20 pound braid. This is spider wire. This a is a drop shot special, 6.9, just under seven foot. It's a little bit stiffer, but not too stiff. I can whip small jigs with this if I have to. I like to keep a lightweight rod and a, and a medium heavy rod inshore. Because I only bring two rods, so both rods have to be multi-purpose, you know? Another thing I never go into the bays without is gulp. I was bringing my gulp. If I'm not doing good with suspension in the top water, I go to gulp, bump the bottom or something, and with the stinking smell of that, I'll catch something. And you know me, I'm a minimalist, man. I got my PFD back here. I carry this tube and this is this is pretty much carries everything that I need in my tube right now I've got some extra clothes on my cell phone and my keys I can just throw just about anything in these and they carry a lot of big plugs so I kind of like these dry boxes when I'm doing you know small trips in here in Florida I bring extra leader material and I bring extra big hooks in case I see once again some big fish rolling out here in these bays sometimes we come across red snapper and stuff so I want to have something to be able to drop down to them another item I rarely leave home without is the fish grip if I tangle up with something big I like to have some help if I hang a hard head if I'm throwing treble hooks and something's thrashing fish grip comes in handy I always try to bring a small pair of pliers now all this fits in my green bag these are some Berkeley pliers with a sharp snip on them. Cut for cutting line. Love it. Put a float on them. So there you go. There's a walkthrough of all the typical stuff I bring in short. We'll catch you next time right here on 30 Miles Out.